Bwana Yesu apesifu. Hallelujah. I have a story to tell. Nina simulizi la kuapa. And the story is I praise my Savior all the day long. Nina simulizi langu ni kwamba nina msifu mwokozi wangu chana kutwa. Sometimes it is not loud. Mara nyingine sio kwa sauti inayosikika. But in me. Lakini ndani yangu. There is praise the Lord. Una Bwana asifiwe. Praise the Lord. Ndani yangu nasema Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. If you are here for the first time and somebody bursts where you are saying praise the Lord don't look around that is his story that is her story that is her song that is his story. Hallelujah. And this place is where we come to express our desires of him. How good he is. We may not be allowed to do it in my office or at the job where you are working. So you are pumping it and feeling it and the heart is now full. You feel like saying amen in, in your office or at the bank. But you can't because you will disturb the peace. Here, you must disturb every peace. Here, you start every peace and shout it out. Shout it out. Shout it out. Shout it out. Yes. Shout it out. Colossian church was a, Greek church was a Greek church. The people who never shouted for anything until they know it is right. For a Greek to say praise the Lord you must tell him what Lord you mean. Because in Rome there was Caesar he was the only Lord. And there is one has come recently. Born somewhere here. Whose father is not well known. His origins are not known. He doesn't come from a royal family. And the people are calling him Lord. There must be a reason why they call him Lord. Oh, hallelujah. For what he has done for them. What he has done for them. There is a woman who was to be stoned. And this one Jesus of Nazareth. He says before you stone him, you stone her. Let me give you a challenge. He who has never sinned among you. Let him be the first one to throw a stone. And they turned around and went away. She was left there with only one person. Only one person. Only one person. Her accusers had gone. Her accusers had gone. And she was left there to die. And Jesus said, Daughter, open your eyes. Arise. Look around. Where are your accusers? 
Wale washtaki wako wako wapi? She said, Lord, I don't see any Lord. Akasema Bwana si muone mshtaki hata mmoja. And Jesus said, Yesu akamwambia, Neither do I accuse you. Wala mimi pia sikushtaki. Go home in peace. Nenda nyumbani. Do you see why she went home in peace? Wewe unaona ni kwa sababu gani huyu mama akaenda zake kwa amani? She was legally supposed to be dead. Maana kisheria alipaswa kuwa mfu. Legally dead. Alipaswa kuwa mfu kisheria. But here comes one who broke that law. Kisha akaja huyu ambaye alivunja hiyo sheria to save one soul. <laughs> to save one soul. Ili kumuokoa mtu mmoja. Jesus became the law. Yesu akafanyika ile sheria. <coughs> Hallelujah. <coughs> Where he is Mali Yesu mwenyewe yuko There's another law Kuna sheria nyingine Which takes over from the law of sin and death Ambayo inatawala juu ya sheria ya dhambi na mauti The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus Tunazungumzia sheria sheria ya roho wa uhai ndani ya Kristo Yesu Has made me free Ambayo imenifungua huru from the law of sin and death Kutoka kwa ile sheria ya dhambi na mauti Today Leo hii the service is different Ibada ni tofauti It is a worship service Ni ibada ya kuinua mikono na kumwabudu And I am here Nami niko hapa As God's prophet Kama nabii wa Mungu To give you a reason why you praise him Kukupatia sababu ni kwa nini utamsifu Bwana To give you a reason why you should raise your hand and praise him Kukupatia sababu kwa nini inakubidi kuinua mikono Hallelujah Hallelujah Colossians 1 wa Kolosai sura yake ya kwanza Colossians 1 wa Kolosai sura yake ya kwanza If you came here waiting to to hear this is the order of service Kama ulikuja unaongoja tukutangazie ibada itaenda hivi This is the order of service Basi ibada inaenda hivi Jesus is here Yesu yuko hapa That's the order Hivyo ndio vile inaenda Kwa sababu Yesu yuko hapa hivyo ndio vile inaenda Maybe you didn't hear that Labda hujasikia vizuri The order of service here is not song number one, song of the children, women song. Utaratibu wa ibada hapa sio vile watu wanaimba na wimbo wa watoto na kina mama. No. Hapana. The order of service is that Jesus is here. Utaratibu wa ibada ni kwamba Yesu mwenyewe yuko hapa ndio utaratibu tunaofuata. And where he is? Mali Yesu yuko. There is fujo. Hapo fujo iko. One is crying. Another is laughing. Kuna mwingine anacheka, mwingine analia. One wants to dance. Another one wants to cry. People want to express themselves the way Jesus means to them. Don't hey. Don't expect me to worship Jesus for your for your for you. No. You should be allowed to express yourself. Express yourself you. So let me give you a reason why you should express yourself. I'm going to Colossae. There with Paul. Hapa Paulo. This is God's will. Anasema ndio mapenzi ya Mungu. Chapter chapter 1. Sura ya kwanza. Verse 10. Msari wa 10. That you may walk worthy of the Lord fully pleasing him. Ili mwenende mwende mwenende kama ulivyo wajibu wenu katika Bwana. Being fruitful kizaa matunda being say fruitful shout fruitful sema kuzaa matunda shout fruitful sema kuzaa matunda when you see a fruit mahali unaona matunda there is life hapo kuna uzima the roots are neat the tree is safe mti ulio na matunda ni mti ulio salama and you na wewe must produce your fruit ni lazima usae matunda yako every tree is known by its fruit kila mti unajulikana kwa matunda yake so uh-huh. your fruit basi tunda lako must be seen and heard lazima lionekane na lisikike your fruit is joy salvation shout matunda yako ni furaha wokovu dance kucheza club kupiga makofi for jesus hallelujah Kupiga for jesus yesu makofi hallelujah tunda lako lazima lionekane na kusikika don't sit there Usi... for me to pray for you usiketi hapo kiongoja nikufanyie maombi i don't have a means of praying for you mimi sina huduma ya kufanyia maombi hapa si uganga hapa si uganga 
Hapa sio uchawi. Kufanyiwa kufanyiwa. Kufanyiwa. Fanyiwa. Ufundi. Wacha ile uongo huko nje ukuleta usileta ile uongo hapa. Increasing in the knowledge of God. Amen. Increasing in the knowledge of God. Increase, not decrease. Increase. Not decrease. Today you must go one step ahead more than you came. Today you must not go out the way you came in. Today you must say I increase two steps. In the knowledge of God. But how do I do it? You be there. And God your father is here. But who begins to call who? It is the father who calls the baby. Come, baby, come, come. It's, it's not the baby who says, Daddy, stand there, I'm coming. The baby does not say, Father, come, Father, come. No, 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 no. That's a cleverness of preachers. Father and child. Who says come? The father say come. Why do you accept that? Why don't you accept that? Why do you accept Kenya way? Oh God. Come amongst us. God. Yahweh. Yahweh. He didn't consult you when he met Mount Kenya. Where do you come in? You should be crying that he saw you sick, sin, and he brought you in. Don't stand there and say and pretend to be very 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 spiritual. God we in we we I, I, in, invite you. Oh God, we invite you. it was oh who are Ni maneno. Ni, ma, ni maneno. Wingi wa maneno. Oh. Verse 12. Mstari wa Colossians 1. Wa Colossae sura ya kwanza. We should be giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to become partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. Tunapaswa kumshukuru Baba aliyetustahilisha kupokea sehemu ya urithi wa watakatifu katika nuru. Giving thanks. Tukitoa shukrani. Thanks. Shukrani. Asante Yesu. Thank you Lord. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Bwana Yesu. Asante Bwana Yesu. Thank you Lord Jesus. Asante Mfalme. Thank you Lord. Asante Bwana. Now I have got to correct something here. Sasa hebu nisawawishi jambo. Lazima nisawawishi. Kuna jambo hapa lazima linanikula. Hatukufundishe watoto wetu kusema thank you mama for the food. Hatukufundishe watoto wetu. Watoto hawasemi asante. Wanakula? Wanatoka. Mama hakumwambia. Mami imetosha nitakula tu na sasa. Hakumwambia say thanks to daddy he has brought you a shirt. Ati haku mama hakumfundisha mtoto kumwambia baba asante umenunulia shirt. Alafu tukaleta hiyo hapa. Alafu hiyo hali tukaleta hapa. Tumeileta kwa Mungu tena. Kwa wokovu. Wakati mfika hii ujanja uishe asante bwana Yesu. Ufunue mdomo wako sema asante bwana Yesu. Haleluya. Asante bwana Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante bwana Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Haleluya. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Nakushukuru mfalme. 
There you go. Giving thanks. Now, today here, you give thanks because we encouraged you to. Take those thanks now into your house. Sasa kutoa shukrani huko uende nayo nyumbani kwako in the office ukiwa ofisini thank you jesus unasema asante at the bank ukiwa kwenye benki thank you jesus unasema asante yesu at the soko ukiwa sokoni thank you jesus unasema asante yesu kabla hujalala sema asante yesu thank you jesus asante yesu ukiamka asubuhi asante yesu thank you jesus asante yesu haleluya asante yesu Asante bwana Yesu. This must be corrected. Hili ni jambo ambalo lazima lisawishwe. You live today not be it's not good luck. Uko hai leo hii sio kibahati bahati. No. Hapana. God left you alive. Mungu amekubakisha ukiwa hai. To be his worshipper. Ili uwe muabudu wake. God has left you alive to be his worshipper. Mungu amekuweka hai uwe muabudu wake. Asante Yesu. Ukifunga mdomo hapa unakwenda mbingu gani? Asante bwana Yesu. Ukifunga mdomo hapa unakwenda mbingu gani? Asante bwana Yesu. Asante bwana Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante Yesu. Asante bwana Yesu. Haleluya. Asante bwana Yesu. Thank you Father. Asante bwana Yesu. Thank you Lord. Asante bwana Yesu. Hebu niwaambie wakati umefika ambako manabii wa kweli wato, wajitokeze ili wakicheko wachekwe mm. na leo ndiyo hiyo huendi mbinguni maana umeokoka hukuokoka kwenda mbinguni mungu hana haja na wewe amen hayuko lonely atunanda mbinguni kufanya nini unaenda mbinguni kufanya nini Asante bwana Yesu. Waendao mbinguni ni wale wanaomwabudu Mungu peke yao. Asante bwana Yesu. Asante bwana Yesu. Asante bwana Yesu. Peke yao. Peke yao. Asante bwana Yesu. Asante bwana Yesu. Hallelujah. 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 Asante bwana Yesu. Asante bwana Yesu. Asante bwana Yesu. Now. Those of you that have opened your mouth and said thank you Jesus. You have defeated the greatest sin in the universe. Let me now reveal to you. You have defeated the greatest sin in the universe. What sin is that? Pride. Kiburi. What sin did the devil commit in heaven? He had no need to steal. Everything was there. What sin did he commit? Pride. And he has never been allowed to go back there. Because pride is not allowed. Those of you who keep your mouth closed. I am here to tell you. Without an apology. That you are proud. Because your tribe does not do that. So mbinguni is not your kabila lako. Ni kabila la yesu. Kabila ni la yesu. Hallelujah asante bwana Yesu Asante bwana Yesu Asante bwana Yesu The prophet Manabi The great names Majina makubwa The angels Malaika The seraphims Maserafi Are all bowing Wote wanamuinamia Saying holy Wakisema mtakatifu Holy Mtakatifu Holy is the Lord Mtakatifu ni bwana Holy Mtakatifu Holy is the Lord Mtakatifu ni bwana Then on earth, people say there, they pray for me. Pray for me. 
pray for you to continue. In your state? Katika hiyo hali yako? No. Hapana? No. Hapana. I'm here to save you. Niko hapa kukunusuru, kukusaidia. When people knew God, watu walipomjua Mungu and they did not worship him as God. Na wakachagua kutomwabudu kama Mungu. Neither were they and th- neither were they thankful. Na wala hawakukua wanatoa shukrani. God left them. Mungu akawaacha that they may get lost. Ili waendelee kupotea. When God leaves you, Mungu akikuacha you are finished. You are in hell already. Thank God you heard me say so. God has not left you. Yes. 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 Verse 14. Verse 13, 13. He has delivered us. Nae ametuokoa. Ametukomboa. Ametukomboa. He has delivered us. Alitukomboa. Ametufungua. Ametufungua huru. He has delivered us. Ametufungua huru. Ametuweka huru. Hallelujah. Not he will. Sio eti atafanya baadaye. He has done it. Tayari ameshatukomboa. He has done it. Asha tukomboa. From the power of darkness katika nguvu za giza and transferred us kisha ametupiga transfer and the kingdom of his dear son na kutuingiza katika ufalme wa mwana wa pendo lake. He has delivered us ametukomboa from the power of darkness. He did not leave us there for the devil to play with. No, you are not a spiritual toy. When he delivered you from the power of darkness, he transferred you. Kupiga transfer. Kupiga transfer. Mbali na huko, mbali, mbali na giza, mbali na giza. Mbali na giza. Kupigwa transfer. He has transferred us. Ametupiga transfer. Hello. Wanisikia? Don't look back. Usiangalie nyuma tena. You have been transferred. Ulishapigwa transfer. Don't look back. Asante bwana Yesu. Let me say this categorically. Wacha niseme hivi makusudi. You left nothing behind worth remembering. Wakati ulipigwa transfer hakuna kitu ulibakisha ambacho kinakubidi kuangalia nyuma. You have forgotten. Umesahau kila kitu. Why? Kwa nini? Because although it seemed good then, maana japo kwa hicho kitu kilikuwa kizuri kule. Now, sasa hapa where you are, hapa uliko, it is not even remembered. Hiyo kitu nzuri ya kule haikumbukwi hapa. He has transferred us Asha tupiga transfer. Satan is not allowed to point a finger at you. Shetani haruhusiwi kukulaumu. When he sees you, anapokuona, he tells his demons, let that one let that one pass. Let Anaambia mapepo wake, huyo waachana naye. Don't go near. Huyu hata msisonge karibu. Don't go near. Huyu hata mimi siwezani. Let he sends you to hell. Huyu anaweza kukurudisha kuzimuni. Before your time comes. Waachana huyo kabla ya wakati. Waachana na huyo. You have the mark of the new territory where you are transferred to. Wewe uko na alama ya eneo ambapo ulipigwa transfer kuingizwa. You are saying praise the Lord. Unasema hallelujah. Hiyo ndio alama. That's the mark of transfer. Hiyo ndio alama. Hallelujah. You are saying thank you hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. You are saying thank you Jesus. Unasema asante Yesu. You are saying thank you Jesus. Unasema asante Yesu. Hiyo ni alama ya transfer mpya. Hiyo ndio alama. Alama ya kupigwa transfer. Keep the devil on the run. Wewe fanya shetani akwe na toroka sasa. By saying thank you Jesus. Unasema asante Yesu. Keep the devil on the run. Thank you, Jesus. Let your house be filled with thank you, Jesus. In the kitchen. 
Thank you, Jesus. In the living room. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Asante Bwana Yesu. He has done great things. Ametenda majabu. In whom we have redemption. Ambaye katika yeye tuna ukombozi. Through the blood through his blood of redemption. The forgiveness of sins. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? It doesn't matter how you repented. You are forgiven. If you cried all day, you are forgiven. If you said, oh Lord, forgive me, then you went home, you are forgiven. You are not forgiven less than the one who cried all. It depends on who forgave you. When God forgives you, He does not regret. He does not regret. So you are welcome in the kingdom. You are welcome in the kingdom. God will never regret. When he sees you go there, he says to those angels, look at my kid. Look at my daughter. There she goes. The angels must be saying, if God can acknowledge, I better run there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can attract angels to your house. To your car. Attract the angels to the matatu where you are. By saying, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why? It must not be hard. It must not be hard. Is your language. When, when the wizards, Wachawi, meet, what do they talk? Urogi. What do they talk? When which doctors meet? What do they talk? Hallelujah. We didn't ask you where you were born. You are born again, you are born again, finished. Oh, Hallelujah. 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 Kama mimi kabila yako unasikia wewe ni superior. Oh. Wewe ni ujinga wa Kenya na unafaa utoke kwa watu wa Mungu. Kwa watu wa Mungu hiyo itoke. Amen. Kwa watu wa Mungu hiyo itoke. Hiyo itoke. Amen. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Hallelujah. Yesu apewe sifa. Hallelujah. Hebu niwaambie ukweli. Mimi naamini. Kama iko mtu hapa Kenya anaitwa Joe Kayo ambaye peke yake ndiye mkristo. Amen. Kwa nini isiwe hivyo? Ah wengine hey. ni wajaluo wa Kristo. <laughs> Wanasaidia Ukristo na ujaluo. Okay. Ah wengine ni, ni, ni waluya wa Kristo. Haya. Kabla hajakuwa wa Kristo ni waluya. Na wakiwa wa Kristo hawachi uluya, wanaileta Ukristo unasaidia uluya kuendelea. Kitu yetu. <laughs> Yeah, yes, na kataa 
Mtu akiwa ndani ya Kristo amekuwa kiumbe kipya. Amina. Ya zamani yame vita yote. Tazama yote yamekuwa mapya. Haleluya. Asante bwana Yesu. Na ushuru mtu ushuru mtu mmoja tu. Mm. Huyu mtu ni mimi namjua. Ndio. Hey. Kayo. Ndio. Alizaliwa mahali pengine huko hapa hey. Kenya. Lakini si maana sana. Huko ni vaya here. Hey. Kuja hapa. Hey. Vaya, vaya. Ni kwa ni lazima alizaliwa mahali fulani. Lazima. Hey. Lazima. Ni afike mahali fulani. Hiyo sikuchagua. Hiyo sikuchagua. Uh-uh. Mungu anasema pitia huko. Hey. Nikapitia huko. leo wa masai wanita ndugu yao mm. wajalu ni ndugu yao ndio waluya huyu ndio ndugu yetu <laughs> Wan, watu wananipenda sana ambao zamani walikuwa kibebeana mikuki mimi nikiingia kule ule wadudu na kwisha mm. maana huyu ni mtu wa Mungu mm. kwa nini wanaona Yesu haleluya wanaona Nikwenda kericho nikohiri injili pale ambako walikuja wakipa ngombe zetu tukiwa watoto wanaiba ngombe wana mikuki nanda zinavuka mpaka hata polisi hawezi kuzipata hapo ndio nilikwenda kuhubiri <laughs> nikahubiri injili kweli kweli Yesu wakasema wewe si mkisi hapa ni mtu mkisi. Angeongea mambo ya ngombe hizi. Eh, huyu ni mtu wa Mungu. Anakuongea. Ni mtu wa Mungu huyu. Eh. Nikwa nikaonyesha kwamba huko nilipitia tu. Mm. Kuja duniani. Mm. Watu waliokoka na kilio. Waliokoka na kilio. Mimi ndiye nilikuwa naiba anga ngombe ya kisi. Niombe. Anakuja mbio mbele. Mm. Leo mnaohubiriwa mnapembelezwa. Mna okoka leta pesa tu kule ah ah hiyo sio okofu hiyo mnanunua hiyo mnanunua anga hiyo sio okofu okofu ni ile ambayo unamwonea Mungu peke yake sio pesa amen Mungu peke yake sio haleluya hapa kuna biashara ya pesa amen. hapa ni Mungu mm. na biashara yetu ni ya milele haleluya milele na milele milele na milele We had a very successful meeting one time in the Eastlands. Mara moja tulikuwa kwa na mkutano maeneo ya Eastlands na ilikuwa kwa yafanaka sana. And the Holy Spirit said, Roho Mtakatifu akaniambia, Let them go. Wa ruhusu waondoke. Don't sisi. take one shilling from them. Usichukue hata shilingi moja kutoka kwao. I stood up and said, turn around. Mama nikasema inukeni muondoke. No offerings here. Hakuna kupokea sadaka hapa. No offerings here. Hakuna matoleo. Walk away. Tokeni muende. They went. Wakaenda. Nyeri. Huko Nyeri. People are so blessed. Watu walikuwa wamebarikiwa sana. Because I know how I approach Agikuyu is different how I approach Wakamba. Maana ninajua jinsi ninavyowazungumzia Wakikuyu ni tofauti vile na wale. When I go to Nyeri and I enter there and I preach. Nikienda Nyeri niingie pale kuhubiri. Waze are the ones who come more. Waze ndio huja wengi hata zaidi. They come ni jamba ya mwadhani. Anita shujaa wa Yesu. They even given me a coat. Hata wamechanipatia vazi. And a fimbo ya uzee. Pamoja na fimbo ya wazee. I've been accepted as emugikuyu mzee. Nimekubalika kama mzee wa kikikuyu. Then I tell them. Kisha nawaambia. Tumebarikiwa sana. I don't I don't want us to go low to money. Nawaambia kwamba ya kiwango ya baraka ile tumepata kutoka kwa Mungu tusiiteremshe kwa pesa. Don't talk about money. Alpha tutaongea juu ya pesa. Go out. Tokeni muende nyumbani. Eh 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 eh. Odo yole. Eh. Eh. Nini hii? Nini? To show them that the gospel is not what the money they give. Ninafanya hivyo ili kuwaonyesha kwamba hii injili sio zile pesa wanazozitoa. And the man who brought this gospel huyu mtu ambaye aleta hii injili can't be bought by Kenya shillings. Hawezi kununuliwa na pesa ya Kenya. I have ugali at home. Niko na ugali yangu nyumbani. And they have been blessed without giving. Na wamebarikiwa bila kunipa. Amen. Amen. 
They run to the car. And they push each other. They throw money into the car. That is the one I take. And I don't count it. I, I drive until I reach home. I take two, three days before I count it. It must not tempt me. No. I discovered I had been given over 200,000. 200,000. Thrown into the car. What if I had said bring money now? I could have taken a million. But I came out clean, safe. Freely, I've given freely I gave. Your hearing a different pastor. The man of God. The man of God. That you may know him. He will transfer you from the power of sickness, power of death in, into health. Not just healing. Health. Health. Mind wise. Physical. Relationship. Marriage area. Health. Health. Hallelujah. He has transferred to where you can't pay for the blessings. Now you know. Sasa umejua hiyo. Hallelujah. Think, hear this. He is before all things. Look at verse 16. By him, all things. How many things? How many things? Big things. Small things, medium things, amazing things, surprising things, ugly things were created by him that are in heaven and on earth, visible and the invisible. Hello? Hello. There are things which are invisible. And they are more powerful than the visible ones. They were all created by him. In him. And for him. And by him. What a mighty God we serve. Hello. Hello. Language fails me. How many things? Plus you, the thing on two feet. Plus you, the, th the thing on two feet. One of them saw himself. He examined himself. He criticized himself. He came with his answer. I am wonderfully and amazingly mad. He couldn't understand who he was. You are not ordinary. You are wonderfully and amazingly mad. Don't let anybody lower you from where God has put you. You carry his image. Hallelujah. You carry his image. Now I'm bringing you closer to him.
verse 17. He is before all things. In him. All things consist. If you forget everything you hear. Don't forget this. In him. All things consist. A thing called a human consists there in him. Female things, male things, tall things, short things, big things, frightening things, happy things that make you smile some, some of them make you run away in him but How many things? How many things? I want you to confess. When you confess all things, the devil will have mark you. He will be afraid of you. How many things? How many? Were made by him and for him and in him all things consist. One, Nigerian called Chinua Achebe. He wrote a book called Things Fall Apart. Here in him all things consist. Hallelujah. In him things don't fall apart. They consist. They hold each other. In him. You are a hand to me. I am a leg to you. You are my ear. But I am your mouth. Amina. We are members of the same body. The bodies of Christ. If you hear me saying hallelujah, you know that's my that's my kind. Oh, that's my kind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I introduced praise the Lord hallelujah to Kenya. When I came back from Uganda, I introduced it. There was a hallelujah everywhere. Everywhere. They sent university students to write things about me to see how insane I must be. They discovered I was the most sane man on earth. They wrote he knows what he's doing. I was not a muse yet. My hair was up to here. Hallelujah. But they saw things had changed. They said things have changed. You enter there, you are not the same. Your intellectualism is gone. That man goes into you into your heart. <laughs> Hallelujah. Saints, we are not believing in religion. We are believing in someone. 
His name is Jesus. In him, all things consist. In him, all things consist. In him, all life consists. In him, all life consists. Everything has got the right claim to him. Even the demons. Uh-huh. They know him. Two son, four sons of a, a, a reverend. They saw Paul cast out demons. And they said, this is, this is the time for people, people to realize who we are. They chose one possessed man. They said, in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. We cast you out. The demon asked them. Jesus, we know. Paul we know but we don't see you in our records you may be reverend's son or daughter that does not do anything to you you must have the direct connection direct past your parents you connect to heaven hallelujah saints Colossae was a small church but here this is the church that finishes this age hear this verse 19 it pleased the father that in him in Jesus all the fullness should dwell now I wish I had I had I wish I, I wish this Sunday was 48 hours then I would begin to teach on the fullness but in him the Bible says we are complete in him we are say after me in Jesus say what do you say become in Jesus I am complete when you are got born again you got completely born again Kapisa. Kapisa, kapisa. I went to testify in Kisumu. And I thought I finished. There were those who were born again during the 40s. They said, Ndelea. Wakasema, Ndelea. 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 Yani, ushuda yu ni mfupi sana. Bado. Ukiingia ushuda, unatua ndefu. Ndiyo. Eh, so fupi fupi hivyo ndelea nipoketi pastor chama nakasema mpita kisi hiyo okofu we ingia kwa mlangoni au kwa dirisa hiyo suda fupi usuda fupi usuda usiposema ndefu hujaokoka bado 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 ndelea But even if 
your short testimony is Lord remember me Lakini hata kama ushuhuda wako tu nikusema Bwana nikumbuke And Jesus said today you will be with me in paradise Na Yesu anajibu anasema leo hii wewe uko pamoja nami paradise That is enough for me Hiyo mimi imenitosha Sio kusema uendelee Ah ah Hallelujah You have nothing to prove Hauna chochote cha kunithibitishia Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. You are complete in him. Wewe ni mkamilifu ndani yake. All things are complete in him. Mambo yote yamekamilika ndani yake. You are complete in him. Wewe mwenyewe umekamilika ndani yake. You may not please the others. Hautawapendeza wengine ndio. But who told you on earth you are here to please people? Lakini nani alikwambia hapa duniani umeumbwa kuja kunipendeza mimi? Look at the way she walks. She walks like a man. Dada anatembea kama mwanamume. Siendi ametembea. People will never congratulate you. Watu hatawahi kukupongeza bwana. Don't depend on them. Wacha kuwategemea. Depend on who you are. Mtegemee wewe ni nani? Complete in wewe ni mkamilifu ndani ya Kristo. Hallelujah. Amina. Imagine Reaching, reaching a, a group of people. When you are walking, you are walking fr freely. You see them. Then you change. You, you walk like you are, you are dancing a little bit. You walk like you are dancing a little bit. You walk like you are dancing a little bit. You are trying to please people. Unataka kuwapendeza watu wajue hata wewe uko. No. Hapana. From this hall today. Kutoka hapa leo hii. You are walking out a complete person. Unatembea kama mtu mkamilifu. Complete, Amen. Complete. Umekamilika. Don't change your walking. Usibadilike kutembea kwako. In him. Ndani yake Yesu. You are complete. Umekamilika. In him. Ndani yake. You are complete. Umekamilika. Don't change your walk. Usibadilike jinsi unavyotembea. Don't change your style. Usitembe usibadilishe mwendo wako. Even singing. Hata kuimba kwako. Don't change your sing. Usibadilishe sauti yako. Don't change your song, your voice. Usibadilishe sauti yako. Just sing the way you are created. Imba tu vile unaimbaga. Jifurahishe. Eh, hey, ujibambe. If you are too out of tune who cares out of tune so what who cares amen You are complete in him. Wewe mkamilifu ndani ya Kristo. Amen. Asante Bwana Yesu. We have these services like this. Tunakuwa na ibada kama hizi. Then some brothers call me. Kisha ndugu wengine wakanipigia simu. And they say, man of God, why didn't we go to heaven today? Wakasema mtu wa Mungu kwa nini leo hatukwenda mbinguni? Because the service was so high and earth looked like nothing. We should have been to heaven today. Wait. Wait. God is just giving you a taste of, of, of what life is coming. I feel today was supposed to be the end of time on earth. Because services like this are not available in Kenya. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.